Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition. We're here at Cycle 5 in our small little colony. The dupes are doing little, little clean-up errands that we've set at a lower priority. You can see them adding algae, picking up dirt for the research center. You know, all the good stuff. But today, today we need to get to work. We have a lot of digging to do. We gotta be careful, make sure we're not digging out into stuff that's uh, a little too hot. We gotta get some food down. We gotta make sure that, uh, you know, we got a sustainable source of food. Right now we have all this fauna, which is gonna help. You know, this is really gonna help keep us uh, afloat for a little while. We're at 11,000 calories, so we're doing well there. Um, but I wanna make sure we're doing a little bit better than that. With that being said, I just noticed we can't get up here. So let's uh, let's add some stairs there. They can get access to this beautiful... Oh, yeah. Got some muckroot there. Put some auto harvest on these. Working well. We're also going to make sure that we... Keep an eye on the resources that we need. Um, first and foremost, I want to make sure we keep an eye on uh, our water. You know, knowing exactly how much water we have is always key. Algae is important right now. Copper ore would be smart. Yeah, I think this is good. Last episode from the wonderful printing pod, we got an oxifern. So we're going to make sure we throw down an uh, oxifern down here too. I guess we can put it here, huh? Beautiful. Let's check on the research here. It looks like we are ready for the advanced research. So we do need to throw down a supercomputer. Not a big deal. Let's see if we can find some room here, huh? Might be easy if we just drain this now. So why don't we go ahead and figure out how to drain this. I'm thinking the best way is to just block it here. And let it overflow into this reservoir here the issue with that being is we don't have enough room in it quite yet so why don't we open that up just a little bit we'll make some of the dupes go scuba dig this out here let's check the temps over here temps are all looking good still not enough room for this container here though Oddly enough, you can notice the water went down to 6.8 tons. It's weird seeing how it calculates it. Might as well go all the way to the Abyssalite, huh? Give it a new floor. Let's prioritize this up, though. That way they don't forget to get this before they no longer have access to it. Uh oh, we have a drowning hatch. Sorry, buddy, you aren't gonna make it. The horror. The horror. I think we can do maybe one more row. Again, this is all temporary. I'm not sure where our permanent tank is gonna be quite yet. Ooh, we don't have the skills to port them to the Abyssalite yet, which is fine, because we actually don't want to get into the Abyssalite. I'd rather leave that there. Oh, we got some new dupe time. Ooh, some Joya seeds. Look at this farmer with a plus 16 agriculture. Devin, how you doing? Unfortunately, you're anemic, and you have a bottomless stomach. We've taken two dupes with bottomless stomachs. Uh, I prefer not to take a third, and plus you're anemic, man. Like, you can't even, like, you can't even carry a, a bag of seed anywhere. Like, you run out of breath. Then we got Travaldo and Nicola. They're a little too much jack-of-all-trades for what I like. Now, the cooking, I am keeping my eyes out. Oh, wow, it is a cooker and a rancher. I'm not gonna do it, though, so check it out. He's a cooker with decreased cuisine. He's got plus one to cuisine here, and then minus three to cuisine here. 
So I guess as effective as a minus two. And then Nicola is just a hodgepodge of nothingness. We'll take the Joya Seed. There's the meat from our poor drowning hatch. I'm not crying, you're crying. Alright, let's open this up a little, just a smidge more to add future, uh, a couple other spots and a flower pot. Gotta make sure we have a room for a flower pot to turn this into a great hall. Right now, we're only getting the bonus for the mess hall because... Uh-oh. Who's missing? Alright, that, that made me nervous. Oh, we need to put our... Where are you? Oxfern seed! Alright, Oxfern uses up uh, 4k of dirt and 19k of water. But it'll help keep a little bit of the carbon dioxide in control down here. We're almost done draining this here. What we'll do is we'll make sure everybody's eaten. And once they've eaten and grabbing their food... Oh, we're still picking up good. See, this is all good. What do we have this set on? A three. Perfect. We'll lock it down. But we'll make wait until after the, uh, the next day in order to do that. Until then, why don't we do some digging? Beautiful oxalite here. Might as well set up our next row. Check the temps over here. The temps are... This is where the temps start getting a little warm for us. I'd rather not bake all the way into that. So let's take that off by one. Going to town. Really are pretty good at digging. Might as well dig out this side while we're at it. We can even close this in a little bit. What do we have here? A little meal wood. I didn't even see you, buddy. Hiding behind the dirt. A little shy nymphag. Hope keeping these bristle blossoms growing. We got another meal wood there ready to harvest. So we are going to dig this up. Add a little stairs. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be going into hash farming much. I was thinking about maybe doing burgers in the late game. But I kind of want to live off the land. Whoa! Hey, guys. Uh... Can we make sure we get these toilets cleaned ASAP? Because now we only have one operational toilet. And we all know what happens. Now that they've slept, it is definitely time to drop this water tank into the other one. As you can see, right now it's too low. We'll put a, uh, a plug in the system, so to say, right there. Everybody's eaten. And now we're good. Here it comes. Not a bad drain, if I say so myself. Keeping an eye on the day to make sure that we don't run out of food. As you can see, as soon as you lop it off, they only can see the food that is not... that is accessible, and right now it's only 1,600 kilos. There was an also... This is the other water, but it's sitting in... Look at all the thimble reed. It's also 70 degrees. There's a little bit of water right here. Wouldn't be bad to drain. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's drain this while we're at it. More water over here. Might as well keep going up. Yeah, lots of food around here. This is doing good exploration, too. Ooh, well, we're drowning our, our beautiful bristle blossom. While we do this, add a couple of stairs here. 
Beautiful. About a quarter of a day left. Make sure we get as much of this drained as possible. In fact, we, we have enough calories. They'll be fine beforehand. We can even dig up some of this muck root before they get back to their nice carbon dioxide food source. Any other water in the immediate area that we want to drain? Some more, some igneous rock up here. Oh yeah, that's real good there. So I'm starting to get nervous. I only see two dupes in the beds. Where's the third dupe? Where are you, Guar? And how did you get stuck? Oh, here you come. Woo! I got a little nervous. Is it too bright? Oh, yeah. We're going to have to put a regular, a better door there. For Guar, because it was, he get, kept waking up to the light. Unrested, too bright. So now he's got a plus 10% stress in the cycle and minus 10% immunity. As you can see, we're down to zero calories based on what they can see. I'm sure there's some muckroot and some other stuff that they would be able to gain access to. Ooh. Beautiful stuff here. Lots of bristle blossoms. Now, the body temperature on a bristle blossom can only go to 30 degrees. So that's kind of the big uh, issue with the water that you give them. Otherwise, you could just feed them off this cool steam vent, right? Because, but the water, unfortunately, comes out entirely too hot out of the cool steam vent. Which we need to get in there and lob it off. But I'm not sure. We're going to keep an eye on it. See if it's... If it's, um... Inactive. We will definitely get in there. Seal it off. That way it's not continuously heating up the area. This water is slowly draining. But there's no reason why we can't help it out a little bit. Put a couple of me a mesh tile there. We'll throw a beautiful bottle into here. Remember all this ice from the first episode? Most of it's already melted. Now the beautiful thing is there, there is some beautiful crude oil in there. It's not a lot. But it's enough to get us going. It looks like we did find our supply teleporter input. Here's the output. Very nice to see. Oh, we have idle dupes. We don't do well with idle dupes around here. We did gain access to 5,400 calories. Well done. All right, let's go. Now that we got our bottle opener, let's make sure we click it on water. And then we'll mop all this up. I'd like for this to hurry up and do its business. That way we can open the... Open our drainage back up. Alright guys, you, you need to head it off at the source. This doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Let's cancel this one and make sure they mop this up first. <laughs> Much better, guys. Still got plenty of food. Looks like we got a little bit of new dupe action. Ooh, some muckroot. You gotta love the calories. We also got another farmer. It's like the game knows we're going for our greenhouse. Oh, and this one even has green thumb. An interior decorating and a critter aversion. Decreased husbandry. I am interested in Bonnie. Interested. Don't mean it's sold yet. Gene and nails. A uh, quick learner, germ resistant, but building impaired. And then a caregiving, germ resistant, critter averted. Averter. Um... I'm going to pass on Bonnie now, which is probably... I'm probably going to not be happy later when I am looking for multiple farmers. Uh, but because right now, I think we're really looking for a cook and maybe another digger. Somebody can do a little bit more than just farm. Thank you, but no, Bonnie. So we're still having this issue where we just keep mopping up the slow points. So I'm going to prioritize... The highest, most mopping point. So they mop this first. 
And then we'll go down the list. Lots of oxalite up here, really helping keeping our, uh, these higher caverns full of oxygen, which is all good. Found a bliss burst over here. Oh, and there's our Sweetle. Some spindly grub fruit plants. That might be a source. Look at all this oxalite. This is huge. This might be good for early, uh, early space exploration, too. Alright, you finally got all those bottled up, so now, let's mop that side. Once they get this mopped, sometimes you gotta manually kinda help them out on what the best method is. Now we can mop this. Otherwise, they would have kept waiting for one little gram at a time. And with those mopped, we can finally mop this. And then they're going to sit there for days and days and days dropping off water buckets. I just saw a food poisoning bug. So I want to take a look at it and see what's got food poisoning. We got the floral scent being given off by the bristle blossoms, but that should be it. We have a lot of slime over here. More floral scent, probably even put off by the buddy buds, I'm guessing. There's also a dust cap in there. Okay, just wanted to make sure we weren't about to get ourselves sick. Our water supply is still clean. Let the record show it is cycle 10. We still have a clean water supply. What are you doing? Why are you so dirty? Food poisoning. Let's get you disinfected, shall we? Guess we cannot disinfect this building. So yeah, the algae has food poisoning, some polluted dirt. Everything there's got food poisoning. So it's only a matter of time before they inject that food poisoning. A little bit of more water to mop up and now we are good. So let's fill in these here and we can add our supercomputer. And we can also deconstruct this tile and let everybody back in. And now our food supply jumped up to almost 24,000 calories. Hopefully they're going to be smart enough to use the stuff that's about to spoil first, but that's not how it works. They use the stuff that they want to eat first. It'd be real good to get a, a cook going. And that way we can make some of the food last a little bit longer. Using the electric grill. For now though, let's get our supercomputer on. We did complete our jumbo battery, so we're going to add a jumbo battery to the mix. Wire it up. Jumbo battery is a little bit better than the, uh, the single battery. But once it's uh, fully gassed up, we'll go ahead and remove the single battery. Brilliant, and then on the wheel they go. We do need to double check. You see the message we're getting out of the supercomputer says local colony lacks advanced research. Well, I don't believe we've checked for skill upgrades yet. And there they are. Beautiful. So Guar is our resident farmer. I think we're going to go ahead and give him the plus two in farming. We're not going to go too far down that road, though, because we're probably going to improved carry. Because right now, we don't need the benefits that from crop tending and the fertilizing crafting. Um, we're really looking forward to getting into identifying mutant spe seeds at the botanical analyzer. That's going to be fun. For now, we'll just go with the plus two to agriculture. We'll really help our, uh, that game out. Over here, Jordan is definitely going into hard digging. And then little J. Hey, little J. Why don't we make sure you can use the uh, supercomputer? Which reminds me, we need to kick over in priorities. So yesterday, we we set all the good, you know, the, the priorities for the commands that we want 
the dupes doing, but we didn't tell them what they don't want to be doing. For instance, we don't ever want Jordan doing research, nor do we want Guar doing research. That's little Jay's job. So, likewise, we don't want new duplicates doing research either, so we'll make sure that we X that out. The same's gonna be for cooking. There's only gonna be one cook in the neighborhood, and ain't gonna be any of these. So we will definitely put X's there. Farming? I would prefer that Guar did the farming, because he's got the increased seed chances. Um, but I don't mind when other people are scooping up some plants. So for right now, we'll keep this going good. See how that works for us. We might do some a little bit of adjustments later. Looks like little Jay's finished up some research. So we need to get in there and here we go. I noticed that our mess hall does not have the great hall status yet. So we need to get the little planner box. Let's go see if we can't find that planner box. Beautiful. Look at the little flower pot here and some lights. This will work well. We'll go right into artistic expression just to get it over and done with. And that should be good. Now, right now, as you can see, we got 22,000 calories. And this is still doing decent, probably based off that muck root. We're finding a lot of muck root. Now, the bristle blossoms, each bristle blossom provides enough food for about a day and a half of poor dupe. But it takes it six days to do it. So while this is a, a decent food source, we don't have enough bristle blossoms to really make it worthwhile. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick over in here and uh, start putting some mealwood down. Now because I don't want to ruin these tiles quite yet, I don't mind putting some planter boxes down and that is what we will do. Now, farming is dupe-intensive. Is That is the downfill of farming, is how, how dupe-intensive it is. I don't like the research complete sound. Makes it sound like there's a dupe in trouble. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and throw down a nice mealwood seed. And we'll copy these settings all the way over. Since we got so many mealwoods down, we need to keep track of our dirt. If you run out of dirt, well, then you're not making any more muck root. As you can see right now, we're sitting on 44 tons, so we're doing just fine. We're also going to keep all this natural stuff going as well. Oh, we finished our nice flower pots. Here we go. Put the hanging flower pot in there. Oh, very exciting times, and it's time for more dupes. All right, we have Catalina, Bert, and Hassan. Alright, Hassan enjoys cooking and rocketry. Unfortunately, he's a little bit of squeamish, but he does have the duress to impress. So apparently he has an attribute bonus while he's stressed. Then we have Catalina over here. He's a plus nine to strength, who enjoys digging, enjoys decorating, enjoys giving medicine, just likes to stay out of the kitchen. Catalina's not bad as far as the bonuses they have. And then we have Bert, who's great at digging. Handy little construction. So we have kind of a, a digger builder. And then a, a sort of a, a do-it-all Catalina. I think we're going to take Bert. His only negative is the shabby dresser, so he's not great on decor. We can fix that by putting a, a little sweater, a little jacket on him. Um, but the fact that he's going to be good at building and digging is right up our alley. So we're going to take Bert. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the colony. Bert. Bert's already got a nice cot and a mess table set up. So this will really help with our dupe labor, especially with the addition of the mealwood. But what we do have to keep in a mind, though, is, uh, well... Bert needs to eat. So we'll make sure we get that going. Now we're going to need to figure out our water supply. Right now, I don't see any other vents. This looks to be our only water other than the cool steam vent. So this would require us to tame the school steam vent and use the water out of it. We don't really have the tech level right now to tame the cool steam vent because we need that water to be a much lower temperature. I'd rather not heat up our entire base with 110 degrees Celsius water. 
We have idle dupes already? We just started farming. All right, what else can we do here? All right, we need some research. Let's go with some of the basics here. We'll go the ventilation all the way into decontamination. And then we're probably going to sit on some liquid stuff and distillation. Get to work. All right, now we can finally deconstruct this single battery. Good stuff. It's saying insufficient oxygen generation. It's because it's not pushing oxygen out all at once. You'll notice that it hits max gas pressure because the gas pressure around here is too high for it to produce any more. And it's because it takes a while for the oxygen to flow all through these, these little caverns. I'm not too worried about it. When you take a look at the, the oxygen overlay, uh, we're doing just fine. And I'd ra I don't want to use too much. Uh oh. Why do we have a dupe that says starving? Oh, you're just too lazy to go get the food? Understood. Our hanging pot is complete. We'll put a nice briar seed in it. Everybody likes a nice briar seed. Oh, we got a joya. We'll save our joya seeds for when it's uh, we get some not friendly conditions. But for right now, the briar seed, 30 degree max, right up our alley. And now, let's do some digging. Lazy dupes are sad dupes. I don't necessarily mind the hatches eating a little bit of copper ore here and there. Uh, because they are pushing out some coal. Now we need to sit here and do some math on the mealwoods. A mealwood under domestic growth takes three cycles and it produces 600 calories well in three cycles every dupe consumes a thousand calories per cycle so that's three thousand calories needed for three cycles well how long does it take how many meal woods does it take to get three thousand well probably five so now that's five if everybody was perfectly farming like as soon as this thing matured it came down so the they better bet is six so basically six meal woods will give you 3600 calories every three cycles there's a little uh, tuber math for you so i'm sure i messed up on it somewhere but basically with four dupes you know we want to be sitting at 24 meal wood right now we have 16 meal wood so, I think we're okay for right now. We do- we are gonna add some extra. I don't want to be crushing our dirt. So, I was considering doing a little bit of, uh, bristle blossom growth as well. We also have these bristle blossoms. Now, bristle blossoms, the way you can look at it is every six cycles. Well, it takes 6,000 calories per dupe in six cycles. So, there you can tell it takes- ah, about four bristle blossoms per dupe so this is good for one dupe one dupe's worth of food are being taken care of by bristle blossom and then what we say six so we have about almost three dupes here so we're doing all right oh look at this body temperature already this is at 31 i'm assuming yep we're gonna need to get the insulated tiles rather quickly let's go check out the the research we can't stifle our crops already we're gonna in fact we're gonna switch right up into insulated tiles while that research is happening we can do some more digging kind of leave a small barrier here I don't want to break into the next, next biome yet I'm also being sensitive to the temperatures outside. We did unlock airflow tiles, so I'm going to put a couple right in here. Just under this, uh, the generator. Just to make sure some of this oxygen is easier to flow up. With those, uh, with the crops starting to stifle over here, it really does make me worried. So I think we're going to add some more. We also have all the natural that we are hitting up. This one had not been enabled. Those crops were about to, to rot. 
make sure we enable the auto harvest on some of these. I know we've hit a lot of them. Oh, there's a little muckroot there. Now, I need to be careful with the muckroot. Eventually, I want to do a greenhouse, and I was hoping to have a perfect little muckroot sitting in it, too. To have the little display. Right now, I don't know how I'm going to get muckroot over to the greenhouse planted. The only way I think you can do it is actually building the greenhouse around the muckroot. I'm not sure how we're going to do there. Now, this is going to get too big. We actually need to close this in. Because our uh, beautiful Great Hall is getting taken. This should still be good for the Great Hall effect in here. This is 100 and... Well, right now it's saying 700 because these are not closed in. Once they close it in, we should get our bonus back. Let's also add a couple more uh, tables, shall we? Don't know if that's permanent. Let's just do six. Wanted to quickly show you the effectiveness of a uh, Oxifern. I know they took a nerf a long time ago. Um, the, they're exhaling 2,000 milligrams of carbon dioxide per second. Think about that number, 2,000 milligrams. This Oxifern can only use 625 milligrams per second. So it takes four Oxiferns to use to eat up the amount of carbon dioxide one dupe produces. Oh! What happened here? Oh, you colossal nerds, you. You col- Oh, this is not gonna do it all. Look at this already. Already! Cycle 15. Cy is this moppable? No, of course it's not moppable. Can we destroy it? Maybe we destroy it. Maybe we can put... How would we do that? Alright, I'm gonna try to get creative for a second on how to get rid of this polluted water. The problem is, our polluted water is going into our mealwood. Or into our bristle blossoms. And then the dupes are eating the bristle blossoms because they're not being cooked because we don't have a cook. So the food poisoning germs are staying on it. Yeah, this is, uh... I make that mistake every time with the bottle opener. Because before they find polluted water... This is uh, piss and everything from the bathroom because uh, they didn't have anywhere to dump it, I'm assuming. So they're like, oh, we got a bottle of polluted water here. Let me put in the bottle emptier. Into this nice, fresh, clean water. This makes sense. The sooner we can get rid of the source, the better. Now the germs are going down. Albeit slowly. And I mean very slowly. I think what we'll do, we will come back in here a little bit. And we are going to make a bottle emptier just for polluted water. Try to dig this out a little bit, trying to figure it out. Kind of looks like it's going to work, I'm not sure yet. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna make a little polluted water storage area. And then we're gonna try to use the pitcher pump to suck out just the polluted water. And then we're gonna dump the polluted water into the back of the bathrooms. We're gonna see. We will see how that goes. In the meantime, we got a couple things on the docket. First, our research. Let's go get that water sieve. I can see that we're gonna need it sooner rather than later. And now we have new dupes. New dupes! Ooh, a rancher. Normally I'd be all about the rancher, but we're not going ranching this game. This is all about the veggies. Then we have Otto and Gossman. Nothing good there. And I am not trying to get puffs yet, so I think we're going to reject everything. Of course, we could make some omelets out of the pufflet egg eventually, but uh, we only have access to the... Egg cracker, we do not have a cook yet. Reject them all. Alright, our little polluted water storage area is almost complete. It looks like we're going to need to add a, a nice little ladder tile here. Now, as you can see, when you 
Highlight over the pitcher pump, it says is 198.1 kilos of polluted water available. As a matter of fact, there's 198. There it is, 198.1. So, from here, we're going to click polluted water. And then enable auto bottle. Which and tells it, hey, go make me some bottles of polluted water. And bring them back here. Yeah, our researcher is just crushing it. Little J just eating the research. We're a 13 science going through the research very quickly. Now, if you're going to set one of these little stations up, it's always important to make sure you put it behind some sinks. That way they do wash. There it is. Her Guar just picked up the polluted water and now dumped it into our nasty little polluted water tank. Way to go, buddy. Did we finish the deodorizers yet? Not yet. We need to make sure that we put that on the docket as well so we can put some deodorizers. In fact, we'll switch over to the deodorizers. We'll finish those up. And that way all the polluted oxygen will stay inside the bathroom. The only other thing I wanted to do this episode before we sign it off is we're going to add some insulated tiles here. Just in case. Since we're since we're there, we'll probably add some here as well. I don't want to take any chance of any of this hot. Oh, it's all the way over here too. Stops right around here. So yeah, we'll take the opportunity to insulate all the way over. Build ourselves a little tunnel to be able to get to it. And then we'll insulate it closed as well. Beautiful. I'll let the dupes work as we sign this one out. I know I had fun. I hope you did too. And I will uh, talk to you soon.